Welcome to pay to play report for I am alive. Well, let's look at the game very quickly. Let's go into the options and I'll show you. Since this is an older game, one of the things that we always need to think about is that how can we play it, but it's possible to play it on modern day system. And in this case, yes, you can play it in 1080p and it's possible to play it on the modern day system. You don't really need to do anything special. Everything is it's easily available. Now you're gonna find the fact that there is no music in the background. I've disabled the music because I do have experience with the fact uh, that some of my videos get copyright flags on them due to the fact that there is music that might be claimed by one, some party or another. It does also happen with sounds, but uh, so far not as often, thankfully. So therefore, will be I will not be I having music in the games usually. Now. Let's let's play the actual game and what I will do I'm gonna reset to the episode actually I don't need to reset to any episode right there it is uh, it's a thing I believe I'm already in the proper uh, section let's replay a level and we're gonna replay this section we're gonna replay the skyscraper section why because I think it's a more, more it's the most representative, but sorry if there was a bit of a slowdown. I was trying to remember exactly what I wanted. And, um, because I did earlier reset the episodes, and the options look slightly differently when you do reset of the episode rather than the replay as an episode. Okay. So here we are, here's the game. Now, there are mods available to make the game look slightly different, but not even slightly, actually, radically different, because what it will do, the mods available for PC Gaming Wiki site if you look for i am alive i'm not going to be listing the locations of the mods because i didn't use them myself i haven't tried to use them from what i've seen is that it will remove well all the filters that have been put on this game you can see the game has a bit of a film uh, film filter it has a type of a green filter to make it look more dusty of the environment also everything looks in more or less like black and white setup now there is a reason for it because it's the very beginning of the game your character does communicate, uh, begins to communicate the story through the use of a camcorder, and the camcorder is black and white. And therefore, I feel that the game re continues with that uh, theme of having the rest of the game look black and whitish. Also, there's an idea that some kind of a dust stack, uh, type of a, is happening in the game, and that's why everything looks this way. So, removing all those filters kind of a does destroy the feel of the game. But also another reason uh, is that uh, one of the f those mod patches that uh, was offered I could not get uh, because for some reason it's no longer available on the Google Drive that uh, the person put it there. So you have to Google yourself and you will find alternative locations where it's been stored and you can download it and try it if you want. To. So here we are. Now most of the game like I said, looks this way, but the way things happen in the game is kind of a different. In some areas, you will be doing this thing. You will be doing platforming. Quite a lot of it. Sometimes in some areas, you will be doing platforming exclusively. In others, you will be dealing with enemies exclusively. Like most of the time, you're not going to be doing any platforming. In some areas, you will be doing a bit of both. So here we are. This is one of the areas that will be doing more platforming, and I don't really like platformers. Uh, I kind of dislike the whole idea of them. So here we are, we're just gonna fall down here, catch up, and now as I'm here on platforming, there's one thing that I need to immediately point out to you out, is you see that white bar that's uh, slowly decreasing? Well, that's your stamina. So the characters have a certain amount of stamina, and as you're doing actions such as, well, climbing, moving in the, and doing this kind of stuff, your stamina goes down. Even hanging around, not doing much, you still have your stamina go down. Once you get back up and you stand on your feet, stamina goes back up. The red um, bar, of course, is your health. Now, if I run around like this, you can see my stamina decreasing. If I climb up to something, stamina also decreases a bit and then goes back up again because once I'm standing on my feet, everything's fine. In the game, as you saw me picking up some resources, that's actually pretty important. You need to do, you need to pick up resources. The three different resources will recharge your stamina, increase your maximum stamina, or recharge your health. Now, there's a difference between maximum stamina and the stamina itself, and and the reason it the difference is that you can have a 
not you, you, you can have a stamina but not at the max level amount right you can also have your max stamina de decrease in dead which of course will affect your ability to climb and do things so i will kind of show you that a bit later or maybe actually right now depending on if i remember here there are some climbing section yes there's some climbing section and i can actually talk to you about this uh, stamina situation he right here it's actually perfect for this all right so right there one of the things that i like about this game is that it gives you hints about everything that you need to do so it's the first time you encounter a situation that you haven't encountered before the game will say well by the way you can do this this way and i think it also does have the kind of reminders uh, things happening still in the game i do have a weapon right now on me that weapon is a gun i have one bullet in it interesting the first time i tried to when i was doing the dry run through this i did not have one bullet i had zero bullets but okay that's fine one of the annoying things in that uh, we are this uh, topic right now is if is that the right mouse button is to draw a gun right and the right mouse button is to drop down now go back up so sometimes you want to drop down and you're like okay well a right mouse button oh no no I, i'm not there yet i need to i guess move a bit more to towards the ledge this kind of little things are a bit annoying platforming wise this is going to happen same thing with uh, with climbing some stuff if your camera depending on how your camera is positioned your inputs will be interpreted. So if say if you want to climb up but your camera is split on an angle, the game might interpret these inputs as saying, well, you actually want to go left or right. I mean, not, you don't want to go up, but all the time you, you, you're kind of fighting with the game about this, uh, your stamina is going down. Not exactly the greatest thing. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna slide and we're gonna roll. And there we go, we cut on. And like I said, uh, now stamina is going down slowly as we're going through. And once we up here, right there, good. See, stamina restored, everything's good. Well, we have a resource there, so maybe I should just go ahead and get uh, get to it and and get it now. To do so, I would need to climb further. As I'm climbing, my stamina is decreasing. I can also jump. That uh, costs me a lot more stamina. And as my stamina meter falls here, and I'm showing it to you right now, the, the, the carry, well, the music will change, will kind of to warn you. But another thing will happen is that the game has, like I said, there's items in the game. Actually, there has fewer items than usual. I guess because I'm replaying the game and maybe the stuff that I usually would have had if I played this uh, back historically is no longer available in right now to me. Is kind of a bit annoying because i'm pretty sure i had way more bigger collection of stuff but different items will restore different things like water will just will restore here this says stamina capacity and stamina itself uh pain will restore, restore health there's also also other items that will restore things for you so it's all up, available to you to use and you can use them while hanging around like that and it's, it's all possible right it, you don't need to be standing on the ground to use items now what i'm doing here specifically is that i'm making sure that i run out of stamina right now <laughs> to demonstrate you the next section section of uh, what happens when you do run out of stamina right now we're running out and the game is telling me hey by the way dummy you have all these options available for you to restore your stamina you know here it is you do it now here we are we this is when my stamina meter is going down and now my max stamina can only go back so much unless I use an item to restore my max stamina. Now, there we go, we climb back up. I got that item and here we go. And we back. So this is pretty much uh, the climbing gear portion of the game we're gonna look like. And you're gonna be doing that to a certain extent. It's not all the time, but to a certain extent you will be have to act like that. Now, it gets more complicated further on. There's a way more complicated scenarios, and uh, it, that's the reason I, it got annoying to me in some ways, because, like I said, you know, your stamina is going down, you, you kind of on edge, and you're trying to figure out where it's supposed to go, and it's not always clear where it's supposed to go. That was a bit annoying, but, well, 
I'm not a fan of platforming se sec uh, sections in any games, but maybe people who are will find that it's not a problem. So now I believe we're now gonna run into a situation where we're gonna have enemies. Now we can hear people talking about there, but that's uh, not the enemies we are gonna be running into. We're gonna be running into enemies right here. Here we are. So the key f for me here is to make sure the guy with the gun approaches me first. One, once he's here, I can surprise him, shoot this guy with my remaining bullet and be like, okay, step back, right? And uh, step back. And then now he's on the edge and what I can do is, well, now it's actually, it's, it's a struggle kill, but what uh, it's possible also to do is to push them off the edge, or push them into the fire, that's also possible. I'm not sure why the game didn't give me that option, but that's fine. Also, the game is still die immediately, and once they like this, they kind of, you know, plead for you to not don't let me leave me here to die. So you can do something, you can do an execute kill type of thing. It's up to you, you don't have to do it. You can just leave the, leave, let them die and they'll die. Now the struggle kill, what you saw is that you have to kind of, uh, you're struggling, then you kind of pressing the mouse uh, button very quickly in order to, to be successful with it. It's a bit annoying. I found that whole mechanic, uh, well, the first thing is that in knife fighting that's not how it works, but, but that's, you know, you don't kind of try to do force versus force, but in any martial arts type of situation. But the other one is that it's just, this mechanic is applied everywhere. Let's say here, I want to lift this uh, door to pass through. Well, yeah, okay, let's do this, okay. Uh, now I have to press this mouse again. To, you know, as often as possible to for me to get this to work. Very much annoying. Very much. And I just felt sometimes it just wasted my time because it's not really. It's sometimes you don't pass that test, but it, now you should never have to pass the test in uh, really that much. You had problems with when I was uh, fighting enemies. It's usually some kind of door, or something like that, that you have to open. It's like. There's no reason for me to delay me from opening something. There was never any that kind of situation where it's like, oh, no, no, I have to open something very quickly. I'm, I'm rushing, 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 rushing to open it. No, there's not that. So, really, I don't know why it's included in the game. So, let's proceed forward. Now, we're going to get, again, we're going to get a situation. There will be enemies. Uh, as you proceed forward, you're also looking at four different items. I usually check. Why? Because having different supplies is very important in this game. Collecting them from one episode to another is actually also very important. The reason is that we run under one type of our version of a group, a hostile group, a group that will attack you. Now, not all of them will be people will attack you. Some people will threaten to attack you, but that's not because they just really want to attack you and take your stuff. It's because they just want you to go away. Now, you have to be kind of recognize that. You don't really have to leave them alone. You can also kill them. That's all your option. You also will find people who will ask for your help, they ask for a certain item or something like that, for you to do something for them like that, like, like a side quest. You don't have to do anything for that for them, it's not. It's your choice, but uh, in exchange they might give you something, usually they give you ability to replay these from the last checkpoint. So it's kind of useful that way. We're going to slide down here, we're going to encounter another group of enemies right here, and again, I will be trying to move the words so that the person with the gun is the one that's next close to me so that I can surprise kill them shoot this guy and then be like okay walk away walk away let's talk this over okay it's a bit camera is a bit moving between them too fast but uh, and if I get close to this guy I I can uh, sometimes uh, able to, ki to kill them, but there we go, shoot guy, that guy, and now this guy is going to surrender to me. Sometimes they will surrender if you get close to them with a gun. I think that would be, the n hopefully if I get to the next group, I think that would be the ones that we need to do that. And this way you can save a bullet. Right? Because one of the things that really rare here is, well, it might, you might think at first that it's resources that are rare, it's not the resources. Like the resources that you can use to re regain your health, your stamina, you will find enough of them, and but and you, I think you're gonna have extra if you're pretty good at uh, doing stuff in the game. What you will find to be short of all the time is ammunition. 
you will, will fire stuff like, well, I wish I had more. I wish I had another, you know, more bullets for the gun. That is the biggest problem that I found in the game for me. And it's really created here as a challenge so that you can, you think twice before you try to shoot somebody. You think twice before you try to attack somebody. You try to look for different ways to do things. Okay, we found something else here. Right? Also, it keeps attention on all the time. You, it's, when you're climbing, it keeps attention like, well, you know, do I have enough stamina to get here? Do I need to use something to, you know, to re replenish my stamina? What if I just replenish the stamina and find out that I didn't really need that? Well, that was a waste, right? It's, for you to get killed, it's not a problem. Like you saw, it's one-shot kills for the enemies. You pretty much almost like this, almost exactly the same way. For you to get killed by a group, very simple. So at the same time, you when you're confronting an enemy, you're always thinking, well, should I use uh, bullets or maybe I should not use bullets because if I use the bullets, then what happens in the next time I run into some other group of enemies? What will I use to defend myself against them? That is a constant kind of a debate that you need to think about and you constantly on edge on that. So there you go, we're gonna open the another door. And here we are. Here's more enemies. There you go, the game again providing me hints saying, well, this is what you need to do. You know, kill the, kill the tougher ones first and the weaker ones will still render. Now, the only issue is that uh, which ones are tougher ones, which are weak ones. You can tell them apart by the way they respond to you. It was a talk. See, there you go. That was a tougher one, actually, in reality. I already know that. But it's the way they talk. And so here it is. They, they start to surrender immediately. And even though that guy is getting cut up, he's actually dead. So, and then I can choose to strike them and to, so that they won't attack me again. Okay, apparently you can also leave them, I heard, but I haven't tried that. So, like I said, this is a game in a, in a natural overall. The climbing portions, the enemy portions, eventually will get uh, harder, not in linear fashion. Sometimes it will be pretty, you know, the climbing portions will be very simple in further ahead, but sometimes it will be more difficult. So, overall, Except for me getting frustrated with the platforming section, which is something that I generally get frustrated, the game is good. But now, we, if you think about the actual storyline in the game, the storyline is the following, that you came back to this uh, city which called Habitat after this event, which is generally not explained, but something happened, this uh, catastrophic event, everything is ruins, there's something called dust, if you go into, get into a dust cloud, uh, your stamina will start to run out and eventually you will die, like the idea is that when you max stamina, as you saw, running out, well, if, once your max stamina runs out, like if, when you're hanging on the, on the ledges, let's say, and you run out of stamina, the max stamina starts to run out, you start to move slower at the same time, and then that run out, you will drop the, the, to the ground and die. Same thing happens with the, in the dust, your stamina runs out, you drop and you die. So, uh, that, and so you came back to the city to try to find your family. Instead, you run into a little girl, got separated from her mother, and you're helping this little girl to find her mother. And you got it along by, an, by a person who's a friend of that, um, of the, of the girl's mother. It, in some ways, they say you're kind of doing an altruistic type of situation where you're helping this family out, but at the same time, you also told that there will be supplies, there will be stuff, kind of help for you to tell you where to find things uh, in the city as well as where, what happened specifically so that you might be able to find your family. So, in a way, it's not 100% altruistic, but I felt it more or less altruistic. So, where the game does move in a more great territory and try to pose the questions to you is when you find other people. Like I said, you can choose to kill everybody you find, right? You can sh attack them. That's your choice. Like you, some of them will be just defending your areas and not really a danger to you, but you can choose to kill them. You also can choose to help people. There are some people will ask help, but you may choose to ignore them because they might ask for some, some of the supplies that you carry around that you feel that you really need right now. So rather than give them away, right? So that's your choice. And you also will find situations where if you come up to a person, the person will say, well, you know, we have very limited supplies. And you see those supplies lying around, you can take them. The person might let be upset, they'll be that you did so. But in the end, it's your choice. You can't actually give, you can't give them back once you took them. But they, the person will let you know. So in a way, it kind of game makes you feel like, well, 
do you take everything? Do you do you just kill people that you encounter, or do you have a more different attitude? Who you kill, how you kill? Like I said, uh, there's a even when you when you encounter enemies, sometimes you can choose how you kill them, and uh, you have to think about that. For all these reasons, I would say that it's a, it's a very good game. Even though I was very much frustrated with the platforming section. Now, is it a cool game? Well, you get to climb around and do guys that kind of stuff. You get to do crazy type of stunts uh, when you roll down the side of a skyscraper. It's pretty cool, right? And another cool thing is that it's the atmosphere of the game. Right now, I'm pretty much finished the game, so I have no problems here just standing around and talking to you guys. But in the game, as you're playing, I'm, I don't know if I was really enjoying it as much as I was always on edge. It's always like, do I have enough stamina to make it here? What other enemies will be there? You know, I'm right now have zero bullets, so all I can do is threaten people with a gun. But if they decide to that, uh, I don't have any bullets, they will attack me, and I have nothing to defend myself with, right? And this is something that the actual enemies will do. If you hold them at the gunpoint for a while, they're gonna say, well, you know, either a you you don't have uh, the courage to shoot me, or B, you don't have the actual ammo, and they will attack. So you gotta be very careful there also. Like, all these kind of elements um, make this uh, game very cool. Not very cool, I would say just cool. I would, say, I would suggest it would, be, would have been, I think, very cool if it went somewhere further, but uh, you know what? You do get to... Uh, Roll down the side of skyscrapers. You get to do that kind of stuff. You know what? I would say... And the... I would say, you know what? I just convinced myself that this is a very cool game. So it's a good, very cool game. I'm not sure if there's a very cool rating. So... I, if it's not, then it's a... I'm, you know what, I'm just going to double check immediately right now. Is there a, a very cool rating? I don't remember right now from top of my head. <laughs> it's kind of bad uh, on me, of course, but uh, if it's not very cool, I, w I would put it under the actually under something what I would say is sub-zero cool because ro getting to roll down the skyscraper, even though it's frustrating, even though it, it's horrible that way, in terms of, uh, yeah, there is no very cool rating story, so it is a sub-zero cool game. So, it's a very good sub-zero cool game. Like I said, getting to roll through the skyscrapers, doing all that stuff, fighting the enemies, uh, the way you, you, you fight the enemies in some situations, excluding the fact the way you do so with Machete, where that struggle kill type of situation happening, it's horrible. But, yeah. Good, very cool game. Well, thank you for watching. And for listening, if you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like it, uh, don't like it. And subscribe.